Hey there, Parker Reed here, and welcome to Pete R Media, your home for everything movies and music through my eyes. And today we have a review of the brand new 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray edition of Donnie Darko. During the presidential election of 1988, a teenager named Donnie Darko sleepwalks out of his house one night and sees a giant, demonic-looking rabbit named Frank who tells him the world will end in 28 days. When Donnie returns home, he finds that a jet engine has crashed into his bedroom. Is Donnie living in a parallel universe? Is he suffering from mental illness? Or will the world really end? Donnie Darko is a movie I've loved for years and years. I love the tone of it. I think Jake Gyllenhaal knocks it out of the park. It has a very interesting horror, psychedelic vibe to it that I really enjoy. There's also a lot of heart in this film, so I was very excited for it to come to 4K but there has been a little bit of drama surrounding it. The big issue a lot of people have with this Arrow video release of Donnie Darko on 4K is the fact that the theatrical disc has some frame rate issues, meaning there's some dropout, there's some stuttering, and sometimes the disc even stops. So people are very frustrated who watch the theatrical cut, but I only watched the director's cut, and for the most part, my copy worked pretty well, but there were some scenes that did stutter. One in particular is one of my favorite scenes of all time, and it stutters during my favorite line of the movie, this one. Sometimes I doubt your commitment to sparkle motion. So that was frustrating for me. I had to shut off my player and then put the disc back in and then the rest of the movie played just fine. But it was frustrating, especially when you're paying over 30 bucks for a release. But Arrow Video has addressed it and they posted this message on a bunch of forums the other day saying that they're addressing the issue and they're probably going to put out replacement discs eventually. Some other releases have done that like Akira and Psycho lately over the past year. Sometimes there's just some manufacturing issues and that was the case here with Donnie Darko. But let's talk about the actual transfer itself to see what you'll be getting if you decide to get it and if you get that sweet replacement disc. So if you decide to pick up Donnie Darko on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, you only have the one Arrow Video box set to choose from, and you're probably asking yourself, why does Parker have two copies of this movie? Well, I pre-ordered it and Best Buy got it to me on Wednesday, but I wanted to watch it and review it on Tuesday, so I went to Best Buy and got a physical copy in store. Someone explained to me how the stores can get it on Tuesday, but I don't get it till Wednesday when it was sitting there for like three days for shipping. Ugh, it's frustrating. But let's go through this version, and I'll show you what you'll get if you decide to pick it up. So just for reference, this is a copy still in its original packaging with that 4K sticker on the front and with all this information on the back about what is on each disc and the special features and just all the different specifications. Then when you take off that packaging, here is the artwork without all the plastic on it and it does reveal some more artwork on the back of that great Frank mask that looks phenomenal. And here is the spine and here are all the different things you get in it. Here is the actual 4K disc, here is a poster and here is a booklet. So let's go through all of those very briefly. So here is the Donnie Darko case itself. It features the same artwork as the big box does, and it features that same artwork that was on that J card that was on the outside of the packaging. Open it up, and here is that theatrical disc, and then on the back side we have the director's cut. Another cool thing they included here are there's some like poster, like movie, little little cards, just some promotional pieces, and it features some cool artwork from the movie. I like when they include things like this. It just adds a little bit of extra touch and a little extra detail. I wish they would have spent that time thinking about the quality control and not having the theatrical discs skip, but I'll take what I can get. Next up, we have a little booklet here, and it's a nice hardcover booklet featuring some artwork of Grandma Death or Roberta Sparrow, however you like to refer to her as, and the back is plain. And I will not go through all the different pages with you, but it just features some great still photography, some interviews, story about the movie, its background. Yeah, I, I can't go through all this. It's a pretty lengthy book, but it is a really nice addition to have here in this collection. Lastly, we got this nice big poster so i'll fold it out and show you both sides of it here is side one featuring that artwork we saw on the front of the disc and the other side features the arc we saw on the book of roberta sparrow for visuals on Donnie Darko, we have native 4K, and this is widescreen, so you will have black bars at the top and the bottom. And Donnie Darko has a very interesting backstory as far as its transfer goes. It was filmed on some subpar films, so the film itself, back from 2001, it's not the greatest quality, so it's not going to replicate that well, even in native 4K. This picture is very filmic, very grainy, and I only noticed like a really big uptick in detail at certain points in the film. Otherwise, it didn't look that much spectacularly better than my blu-ray copy i've had for years and years it was better I, this is the best the movie has ever looked and it's probably the best it's ever going to look but i just didn't think that besides the good edition of hdr here that it was just that big of an uptick especially when you're going from like a five or ten dollar blu-ray to a 30 35 dollar 4k set 
Some of the colors are washed out and a little bit muted. And when you get in on the faces, especially during the daytime, the detail is, it's a big uptick. But other times, it just feels like a very good Blu-ray. And I was hoping for a little bit more as far as picture quality goes on here. For audio, we have a DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 mix. And I was disappointed by this. The dialogue is noticeably quieter than the special effects and the music. So you're going to have to ride that remote a little bit to, so the audio levels are the same. And that's disappointing for a 4K release from Arrow because I thought... Oh, this is going to be great. It's going to be great quality. Tremors was great quality that came out a couple months back, but it's just not that fantastic. Sure, everything sounds good when it's on screen, but sometimes when there's bigger special effects and there's some audio mixed in, it gets a bit muddy. And I don't use subtitles for the most part, so I wasn't able always to make out everything. And I've seen this movie a bunch of times, so the fact I didn't know what they were saying was frustrating. So would I recommend Donnie Darko on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray? I'm going to have to say only if you're a hardcore fan. Everybody else, I would say, pass on this for now. I don't see a sale coming anytime soon. We need that replacement disc for the theatrical. The audio and visuals are just a little bit disappointing, but the extras are really cool, and this whole packaging is really cool as well. It looks great. It'll probably serve you better as like a something to put on your shelf, or you can put the poster on the back of a door. It's just not that fantastic for release, and I'm pretty disappointed by it, to be honest with you. That being said, I can still recommend it partially because I love this movie. I think it's a fantastic film that I watch over and over again, and I get more and more out of it every time I watch it. So this is a mixed bag. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw here, you can check us out on Facebook or Instagram, and like, comment, and subscribe if you so choose. My name is Parker Reed. You've been watching Pete. Our media, keep supporting physical media, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.